pop up where music event calendar. Oh, I, a, 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 a,
So we are going to prove if this holds, so if q divides tau and q divides pi i pi, then q also divides tau minus pi. Okay, so this is what we have right now and this is just really straightforward. So if q divides tau, well, that also means that we can write tau as q times a, for example. So that's equivalent to saying that tau is nothing but q times a. You see, and same spiel here, if q divides this pi thing, then this pi thing is equal to q times b, for example. So that's equivalent to pi i, pi is equal to, well, q times b, where a and b are element of the integers. And now let's take a look at the difference of those two. So what do we have? The difference of those two, tau minus this. It's nothing but by our new definitions, q times a minus q times b, but we can factor out the q right here, q times a minus b. You see, those are element of the integers closed under addition, so this thing is element of the integers. Q is element of the integers, but the thing here is, since this is element of the integers, we have integer times integer being another integer, meaning that Q divides this difference right here. Q divides tau minus this pi thing. But we can expand this a little bit because we can actually calculate this because tau is nothing but pi i plus one. So that means q divides pi i plus one negative pi i. This and that is going to cancel out, meaning that q divides one. But what does it mean for q to divide one? Well, this only means that one can be expressed as q times z, for example, with z out of the integers. But this doesn't work out because q has been assumed to be a prime number. So this right here only works if, in the integers at least, if those two are one. Otherwise it just wouldn't work out. So this being one and this being one would be the only solution. But this doesn't work because, well, one is not a prime number. So it means it's not on our list of prime numbers, meaning that this is a contradiction to this statement of Q being a prime number on our list. So this case doesn't work out and this is the only case which works out. So that means tau is now a new prime number on this list leading to contradiction. Meaning there are infinitely many primes. I thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe and recommend the channel if you like. If you want to support the channel a bit more, you know what you can do. And well, up until the next video, don't forget to activate the bell button. See ya. <laughs>